congratulations. You have disabled the drone base. There are no more drone attacks. Okay, well, you know what, game? That's awesome, but your drone attacks were kind of weak sauce anyways. It sure is pretty up here. Look at that. I love the graphics on this game. <laughs> I just ducked on the roof. <laughs> hey, there's no upside down in space, man. All right, guys, we're back, and I have quite a bit of C4 that I made here. Should be more than enough to blow the core on this thing. So I wonder too, just had just as an experiment, these can sometimes go through the wall. So let's see if that's enough to get it just like that. Yep, there it goes. All right, core's down. Congratulations, you have disabled the drone base. There are no more drone attacks. Okay, well, you know what, game? That's awesome, but your drone attacks were kind of weak sauce anyways. We've taken down drone base. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this place apart and, um, you know, get some resources and all that. Maybe, maybe I'll get some power coils in that process of doing that. What was that? That was just plastics. But I will do that later because huh. you know what? Just for future reference, just for future reference, the core was just right on the other side. It was right there. Um, so we could have, I mean, I had no idea, right? But we could have come on this side. It's the side with a, with a troop transport on the left and the two red squares, assuming all the other drone bases are the same arrangement. We could have come through and just blasted right through this block with the Gatling guns and taken the core out right there. That's interesting because, you know, that's not very secure. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, now that I know that, Every drone base in the future is going to pretty much go down with very little fight. Which is the way it should be, because, man, this one gave me a run for my money. I'll tell you what. It was cool, though. Ah, uh, here's the rest of our poor old guy. Hovercraft. Why well the rest of the material from this? This thing held up really well, especially considering that, you know, it's not even made out of hardened steel. This is just normal steel. Shutters. Rest in peace, uh, original old guy hovercraft. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stuff apart and see if I can get some power coils. And by the way, the reason I want power coils is because getting glitchy. Because um, I can make some more of the laser drills once I have power coils. And then once I have the laser drills, I'll be able to, of course, mine faster and so forth. I'm going to loot this place, and then I'll come back before we end the video. And we'll just take a quick trip up into space and see if we can hit a couple space drones for power coils. Okay, so I'll be back uh, after I'm done uh, tearing this place apart. See you in a bit. All right, let's go up in space and um, see if we can find a couple of space drones to kill for some power coils. Um, I did find, I'll show you guys, um, probably level out here so I don't fall back to Earth. The Earth. Uh, I did find another set of heavy armor uh, right there. So that was pretty cool. Probably really the only decent thing I found in there. Um, when I, and when I told you guys I wanted to go back there to get my backpack with power coils, I completely forgot that I had actually retrieved it the last time I went back there. And I have already used those power coils, so that's what was going on with that. But until we can get, you know, the really good, high-quality ores, uh, 
uh, to make power coils, we uh, the only way we can, we can really get it is from looting it. And space drones will typically have, uh, or they have a pretty good chance, anyways, of having power coils uh, in their loot. So let's just fly around a little bit and see if locate a space drone or two and take them out. And while we're at it, we'll fly kind of, you know, near the asteroid belt too and see if we can spot uh, some minerals. Look at that. There's a space drone. Look at that. Right there. So... There you go. Okay. Now the space drones are um, actually not really all that tough, to be honest with you. So they're pretty easy tickets. You can see from the side, because sometimes it can be a little... Um, just been too close to it so it was whoop all right well, we got flux coils and some cobalt alloy that's not bad but let's see if we can find ourselves some power coils now we approach the asteroid belt yeah that's an iron asteroid once we get a capital ship we'll be able to mount uh, mining lasers on the cap ship and then we can mine you know uh, the asteroids that way but until then, if we want to mine any roids, we have to do that uh, with a hand drill. Okay, so let's just fly through this belt and see if we can find some more uh, drones and or a nice juicy cobalt deposit. I don't think we can find uh, neodymium or sapium in the asteroid belt in Akua any, lo any longer. You used to be able to, uh, back when I played the game about a year and a half or so ago, you used to be able to get sap in, I believe, in the asteroids, but I don't know if you can now. Uh, I've been up here on, on the multiplayer server, and I don't remember ever finding that. But we'll see. We'll fly around a little bit and just see uh, if we find anything. There's another space drone. Get it within 400 meters. I wish the ship wouldn't switch my guns around. See how easy this guy is to kill? It's like pathetic. You gotta make those things a little more um, challenging, shall we say. at this time so I don't bug out again. Okay, give me power coils. Yes! Three power coils. And three flux coils. That's a good haul. Alright, and what do we got over here? A cobalt asteroid. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. <laughs> let's tap into this. I, I probably won't mind the whole thing, but let's just grab a little bit of it since it's right there. And, yeah. These are deceptive in terms of their size. Interesting too because the asteroids don't tell you what percentage of ores left, like the 
deposits on the planet here. This reminds me a little more of Space Engineers mining, or at least the last time I played Space Engineers, which also was, oh, it's been at least a year and a half. I kind of started playing Space Engineers and Imperion around the same time, and I decided I liked Imperion better just because, you know, there was more, more survival aspect, more, you know, more planets to visit, that sort of thing. Uh, Space Engineers is a lot more technical uh, for the building and all that kind of thing, and it does have planets that you can go to, too, but I don't think they're, at least the last I looked into, which has admittedly been a while. I don't think those planets have a lot really to do. They're cool with it, but you know, they don't have like the, all the stuff on it that they want to carry on doing. But I should probably look into that and you know, just see what the game's like now. Because again, it has been a while since I've played Space Engineers. All that's to say, when I mined in Space Engineers, this is kind of how you have to do it. You have to fly to an asteroid. You're person basically in your EVA. Um, at least when you're starting out in your own. You find the aspects just like I'm doing now. Look at that planet. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So, let's jump back to the ship and see if we can find a couple more. Space drones. The other thing I want to do too is I want to I guess I guess that's the asteroid there. What's this? Oh, that's the space station. Okay. I don't know if that's marking the asteroid for me or what it's doing. Let's do this, just in case it's not. We'll mark this. Um, I guess that would be the, the a crystal icon. So we can come back here if um, we need to. Moving along the asteroid belt. Here's another drone. That's, that's broken. I mean, come on. <laughs> I took that thing out so fast, it's not even funny. I'm 99.9% .9 sure the Elyon devs aren't watching my stream, but, or I mean my video, but you guys are. Come on, man. You need a little more of a challenge than that. And I also need more power coils, too. is pretty up here. Look at that. That is really neat. Love the graphics on this game. Of course it's not the scale, but still. We can overlook that because it's just a video game, right? Man, is this, is this neat. This one out. Whoop, get an asteroid. Yeah, those uh, rockets aren't homing, so. Overshot that one. Give me some power coils. No power coils. Let's open space drone. Okay. All right. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and fly down here to the Akua space station. 
Oh wait, that's not the Akuma space station. Never mind. Retreat. <laughs> that thing, that thing's got armaments on it that probably would take me apart. Another space drone. Just two more space drones. That's kind of like it's called Thermicus Station. It's kind of like the drone base um, in orbit. Like the one I took, just took down on the planet. I wouldn't mind having these drones come after me, but I don't want to get too close to that station because I think it uh, has some turrets on it, if I recall. You guys going to come after me or what? Looks like they're moving this direction. Or one of them, anyways. Let's see if we can lure him back here a little bit. Come on, Mr. Space Drum. Hmm, I'm not so sure these guys are coming after me after all. What's that? This isn't, uh, the Kua station is I don't think so. But whatever that is, it's not friendly. Fighter dual class oh freighter. Oh, it's an enemy freighter. I wonder if it has guns on it. <laughs> I really don't want to get blown up right now. That's new, because those weren't in the game last time I played either. But you know what though, let's not mess with it right now. Not in a position to. Uh, I don't want to lose the ship. So, anyway, we were going to go to the Akua station, which is over there. What's that? That's Thermica. So, Akua's over there. That's just the game being stupid. I tried to refill my O2 there, and for some reason it left a marker. Yeah, this is the Akua station here. Well, let's head this direction. That's what we like to see. Nice friendly blue text. Actually, it's probably more like aqua text, I should say. Whoa! Easy there, easy there. Old guy. Let's line her up. Bring her on into the station. Don't make the station for captain ships. I guess it's not going to let me actually dock because it's friendly, but it's not in our faction. All right, cool. So we are in Hangar B. I want to remember that. Oh, <laughs> I just ducked on the roof. <laughs> okay. Well, let's fix that. <laughs> hey, there's no upside down in space, man. There's no upside down in space. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and leave the video off here. Um, so I uh, plan to be back uh, on Saturday morning, uh, probably sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, and we will resume our uh, build of the Cylon Raider back on Akua. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll stream that. And so... Um, yeah, let's say aliens making noise. But yeah, I'll see you back there then. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Also, if you're not aware, I do also stream on Twitch, and um, you can find the links to there in the About section of my channel. And you can also find a link to my Twitter uh, channel if you want to uh, follow me there and get up-to-the-minute information and that sort of thing, as well as my Discord, okay? 
So thanks for coming in and hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys on Saturday morning. Bye.